We've got Dan Sodergren with us, who's a tech expert. Uh, morning, Dan. Morning. Good morning. I mean, as Henry was saying there, the, the research that we have around this is, is still fairly um, embryonic because really it's been 10, 12 years since uh, mobile phones have been such a presence within our lives. Um, is it a good time for us to be taking stock now and thinking, right, OK, what good are they doing us? What harm might they be doing us? And is there room for a sort of change in policy? Well, to start off with, I need to say this comes from a, a place of warmth and, uh, and understanding because my, my parents are teachers and about 70% of my family are teachers. I've worked with 40 universities and 20 different schools. I've even written curriculums, etc. I now do keynotes about the future of work and technology and AI. The education sector is traditionally extremely slow to change. It took them about 13 years to accept the calculator. Um, it took, the, the lady was talking about social media being taught now, but that took seven years for that to happen. You know, we wanted technology actually inside, I remember lobbying governments for saying, please give us technology inside schools. Well, the mobile phone is now yeah, but, the same but Dan, level nobody of technology. ever got addicted to a calculator. No, but the, the level of technology now in a mobile phone is the same as what was in a laptop before, and we wanted laptops inside schools. So it, it's teachers as well that have yes, to change. Yes, but the tech, the tech that you're talking about tends to be dedicated in its purpose. You know, I mean, a calculator, I wasn't being entirely facetious there. You know, we know what a calculator <laughs> does. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they don't have blackboards anymore. They have smart boards or they have other things. You know, there, there's tech that is designed mm. for a purpose. But Sorry. what you have in a mobile phone is everything from the most interesting uh, information that can be used in a modern studies class with the two teachers here to hardcore porn. Uh, yeah, but, the, but the future of work, because this is what we're talking about with education, is what education right now, what are they teaching young people? And to take out mobile, is literally the future of work is going to be mobile, mobile phones and that technology. Schools right now are really good at creating people for fields and factories, and it's 100 years too late. We're now in this world now of artificial intelligence, and we teach teachers about artificial intelligence on the AI teacher course. We're in this fifth industrial revolution, Kay. I understand from an emotional point of view, you can say, ah, yeah, but mobile phones bring so much negativity. The reality is, though, is that young people will use mobile phone and mobile technology for the rest of their lives. And what we need to teach them is how to do that in a responsible way. It's like a digital green cross code is what we need to do. So, for example, that young person before was talking about, just turn your notifications off. If you're addicted, turn your notifications off. It's one of the key things we should be teaching young people to do is to use technology. Oh, but that, that's like you say to an alcoholic. If, you, if you're addicted, then don't drink. We're out of time. There you go. We always get out of time when it just gets to the really interesting bit. But, Dan, thank you very much for coming up to the news. Thanks, everyone.